Hey, what's up guys, it's Kyle from RR Buildings and today's tools day, we're gonna talk about a tool that's so common. Everybody has used one at one point in their life or uses it every day on the job site. So let's get into it. talk today not about a extreme power tool or a four thousand dollar miter saw station but rather probably the cheapest tool that you're gonna buy but most arguably one of the most important tools and uh, that is a tape measure now I just keep uh not that drawer. This drawer here, I just keep some standard tape measures that I use or that I have used. But most importantly, we're just gonna talk about a couple that I like that I'm currently using and what I think about them. And more importantly, what could be done to them, I think, to make them even better. So first is the Milwaukee Stud. This, uh, this tape measure has been out now for just a little bit. They sent it to me. The DeWalt XP tape measure, once again, they sent this to me. It's been out for, I think the 35 just came out in the last year, but they had the 25 out for probably two years now almost. And then the good old Stanley Fat Max, which I have bought hundreds of these things. Maybe not, maybe not a hundred, but a lot. So these are the three that I'm probably gonna talk about. I just wanna make a quick mention. I don't even know if you can still buy the Fat Max Extreme. I haven't seen them, but this actually was one of my go-to tape measures for the longest time. So RIP, this was a good tape measure. Maybe you can still buy them, I don't know. Maybe I should look, but I know they're not in my local stores anymore. All right, first let's talk about the Stanley Fat Max because this, this tape measure has been around forever. If you, you work in the construction or just are a DIYer, or maybe you just have a tape measure around, you probably have seen a Fat Max on the store shelves. This is kind of like my go-to. It's always been the one that I buy when I go to the store. Now, what's nice about this is they are, I do believe, made in the USA, hence the nice little American flag. And the warranty on these things is superb. So I buy these at a local Menard store. And if I have a problem, I can usually go in, show them that the tape measure is broken or whatever. And as long as it's not a purposeful break or maybe this thing is split in half because you dropped it from 100 feet up in a boom lift, they're going to warranty it and you're gonna swap it out and go about your way. I have like a graveyard of these tape measures that I haven't traded in, mostly just because I'm probably lazy and I, I have other tapes so I haven't done it, but these things do not last. If I get six months, I'm usually pretty happy. The first time you pull these tapes out when they're brand new, it's like the most glorious thing. They just slide right out. They just feel amazing. But the first time you get them wet, if you don't keep these things lubed with a WD-40 or something, they will rust out and just turn into garbage, like overnight almost. And then they start tearing, the edges get frayed, and usually the whole tape just snaps in half. But with that being said, I keep buying them because they just feel really good. Now, DeWalt came out with their XP tape measure, which I'm sure you guys know, DeWalt, Black & Decker, Stanley, like they're all the same company. And so, I'm pretty sure they're probably made in the same factory. They look a little similar, uh, but there are some differences. I mean, the XP tape measure is a little bit, I think, wider. It feels a little bit heavier. It's also made in the USA. I don't know about warranty because I've never actually replaced one, but definitely take a look at the size of the hook on the end of this thing. It's got like a monster hook versus the Fat Max. Now, when you talk about that Fat Max Extreme that I, did like look at the size of those head differences or the uh the ends this thing is super huge which a lot of people don't like when you're doing trim work or stuff you don't want this big end but out on a uh, construction site of rough framing i not only like this but i prefer it and i'll talk to you later on why maybe some of these other ones aren't my go-to all the time is because of this tip now with this DeWalt XP, I think they say you can drop it from like some ridiculous height that nobody's working at anyway or would expect to work after you dropped it from any higher. And I've, I've had this on site, um, not this particular one. I have a 25 footer actually that made it into the graveyard, I believe, because it finally went to, it just it went nine night because I'm pretty sure it broke just like the other Stanleys do. These blades do not last. They're great for standout. I mean, you can get 11, plus feet, I think, stand out on these, which 
Maybe it isn't gonna matter to everybody, but I deal in 16 foot lumber almost all the time. So I wanna be able to get this thing and stand it out as far as possible so I don't have to keep walking from one end to the other to grab the end of a board and to mark 16 foot away. So hopefully that makes sense. Milwaukee introduced these last year at the MPS. If you guys didn't, I did a video on MPS 2018, which I'll probably tag up here if anybody's interested. It was just fun because they did have some big releases and one of them was their tape measure. Now the stud supposedly like has an indestructible tape. Now I don't know what it's made of or what it consists of. It's definitely very sturdy. Maybe it's got like a nylon coated, I don't know, something, but I have had this tape measure on site now since they gave it to me and zero issues. Look at this tape. It is like no rust. You can bend it, you can step on it. It's not going to break according to them. And I've had zero issues, but here's the problem. Look at the end and look at the end of the DeWalt. So there you go. Look at the difference between the Milwaukee and the DeWalt, which is very similar to like the Fat Max Extreme. I'm always challenged with grabbing anything because if you notice, there is no top tip sticking up where it's going to grab my material when I'm like, let's say I'm underneath a doorway and I wanna reach out and I wanna pick, you know, from underneath, I wanna grab something and get a measurement. I can't do it. I gotta flip it over and then it always flops over. So I don't know why they don't make these things with different options. I mean, I'm sure there has to be some reason, but when you're just changing the tip, why not be able to have a tip that changes or just make an option with a bigger tip like this? Because if you wanna be in the framing world, that's just not enough for me. Now, another thing that Milwaukee did that I think other people have tried to do that um, I didn't think was really a good idea, but it's actually been very usable, is the underside of the tape measure. You can just put your finger here and lock it in versus putting the clamp down. Now, my guess is if you use a lot of tape measures and you've used the DeWalt, you would know how easy that is. It's very easy to lock and unlock. Some tape measures are not as easy. Like if you do the Stanley Fat Max, it's almost almost a two-hand operation, unless you just got like extreme thumbs. So I don't know really what else to say about tape measures, but I just think that if somebody were to take these three tape measures, the durability of the XP body, the tape durability of this Milwaukee stud, maybe the smoothness and just the pure like joy that comes when you get to pull out a brand new Stanley Fat Max and put a good head on it. I mean, somebody could make a really great tape, but why aren't these companies like taking the goods from everything else? Maybe there's a reason. I'd love to hear you guys tell me what tape you go to and maybe there's a tape measure that I've never used. I know there's other brands out there. I don't know, tape measures are important. I thought I'd take a little bit of time to talk about them and get your guys' response as far as uh, maybe what I'm missing or what your thoughts are. So if you haven't already, drop a comment down below about your favorite tape. Let me know what your experiences have been. I would recommend if you guys don't need a monster hook, you don't need 35 feet of distance to measure, Go take a look at the Milwaukee Stud. This is not sponsored. Yes, they sent it to me, but 100%, this thing is held up better than these tapes, even though they have better features in my mind, like standout, like tip size, but it is what it is. So we'll see you guys on the next Tools Day and uh, have a good one. Now, if there's one thing that everybody has to do when they pick up a new tape measure is see how far it stands out before it breaks. This is the Stanley Fat Max. Oh, that's a little iffy. I don't know. It says 11 foot max standout. 11 foot three. Try the DeWalt, which I feel like they claim 13 feet, but I could be wrong. Doesn't matter what they claim, what can it do? Ten foot eight. Maybe it's only an 11 foot standout and the Milwaukee stud. This is gonna be a huge disappointment, I am sure. Ten foot. So there you go. If you need standout, you definitely wanna do one of these.